This is going to be very dangerous for me to talk about. So I'm going to be extremely cautious here. I don't want to be on a hit list. If anything, it's the New York Times fault, okay? They posted an article reporting that a certain person in charge of a country north of South Korea, I'm not gonna tell you which one, there are many, said that K-pop is a vicious cancer corrupting the citizens of said country north of South Korea. The reason I bring this up, because I just thought it was funny that a certain person in charge of a country north of South Korea hates K-pop but melts when Irene is in front of him. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's funny. Look, we would all melt if we were that close to Irene, okay? Nobody blames you for that one. Guys, if I don't post anything for a while, somebody please come find me. And for goodness sakes, bring Irene. She's the king! <laughs> Someone who has actually been missing- Guys, I'm actually kind of scared now. Hello? Anyway, something that's pretty much been trending all week long now is where is Hyunjin and JYP explain? It's been what, three, four months since JYP announced his hiatus? But ever since then, JYP has been absolutely silent, which many fans feel is not helping Hyunjin in any way, fears that he's no longer part of the group, and creates situations like the ones that happened this week. The makeup brand Clio came under fire after they released a Stray Kids eyeshadow palette that comes with photo cards and other stuff. Now, while a lot of people were not necessarily Necessarily expecting Cleo to include Hyunjin, the backlash came from the fact that they advertised it as you will receive one photo card with all Stray Kids members. However, it only showed seven. The uproar got to a point where the brand has now deleted the post but have not said anything else. Which is kind of weird because it's really similar to the KBS situation. KBS recently uploaded this video. As you can see, this is what the thumbnail looks like. But if you look at the actual photo they got it from, Hyunjin is clearly supposed to be in there. Now, they've also silently taken down the video, and while there were some people saying, well, the video was just focusing on a cute Felix moment anyway, and Hyunjin wasn't the focus of it, many fans are upset and just disappointed that KBS went through the trouble of editing out Hyunjin. Another thing is that after Kingdom concluded, by the way, if you haven't caught up on Kingdom, you might want to fast forward here, groups like ATs and Icon had their behind the scenes videos of some of their earlier performances uploaded. However, JYP did not upload anything like that for Stray Kids. And the first thing that comes to my mind is Hyunjin is probably in that footage. But we also have to acknowledge there could be another reasonable explanation. Stray Kids did win and because of that, we'll get a full week of content catered to them. So maybe they're saving the footage for that. Cross our fingers that Hyunjin will be in it because I don't know, what better way to kick off his return and begin the next era for Stray Kids with 8 again? Now, if we're gonna talk about new eras, we have to talk about about Mamamoo. When we slowly got the news that Moonbyul and Solar re-signed and then Hwasa re-signed, it seemed like a no-brainer that Huiyin was going to re-sign as well. However, this week it was confirmed by RBW and Huiyin herself that she has decided not to renew her contract. But apparently she has indeed signed a mutual extension so that she can still be involved in some Mamamoo promotions like albums, maybe concerts, and this extension goes all the way until December 2023. I don't know what this is going to look like. I don't know how to feel right now. I'm happy and sad at the same time. I look, I feel two things. <laughs> I feel like Joy eating a watermelon crying while happily thanking people. I'm emotionally confused. Let's just enjoy what the next two years will bring. And on that note, I told myself when I finish this video, I'm going to relive my early K-pop days, watch After School reunite on stage, watch 2PM back on stage. Ironically, I became a fan of After School after they covered a 2PM song. Crazy. If you saw the footage of 17 Sun Kwan watching them, that's going to be me. I can't wait. This is gonna be awesome.